I want first to notice that among the most dangerous weapons of our enemy is the weapon of words. They call it peaceful solution when it is in fact the capitulation conditions. We are against it exactly because it's not a peaceful solution. We are against it exactly because it is another phase of forcing the Palestinian and the Arab people to kneel under the will of their enemies and by the force of the superior weapons and armies. To us, the peace is the justice. And this is why we consider that our people's war must be the war which ends all the wars. While the conditions of capitulation forced against us, forced upon us by imperialism, by Zionism, is the start of a new phase of wars. We fight for a real peace, and this peace cannot be achieved except when justice is built, when a progressive social society is built in Palestine, where every single person, not only in Palestine, but all in all this part of the world, live equally and share in building the destiny of the homeland. The Palestinian resistance movement, in fact, started in 1918. That is exactly when the British colonialist troops occupied Palestine uh, in the First World War. Since that time, the Palestinians had been sacrificing in all forms of struggle continuously till this moment. And all the time, it was that the camp of the enemies of the Palestinian people was very big that the Palestinians alone cannot conquer it. In 1918, the Palestinian National Progressive Movement at that time started speaking about a democratic Palestine calling for democratic Palestine is not a new method in the Palestinian resistance movement. And in fact, in, in May 1921, it is well known in history that the Jewish demonstrations in the Jewish cities in Palestine were followed by, by the Zionist element and they had to run to the Arab villages and towns where they were refused and protected by the Palestinian National Progressive Movement. So we had always been fighting, not only the British colonialists, but also the reactionary elements in the Jewish community in Palestine who adopted Zionism. Zionism as a reactionary ideology fitted exactly the ambitions of the British colonialism at that period, and later on the American imperialism plans to the areas. Wiseman, for example, wrote a letter to Lord Drodus, whose Rhodesia was called after his name, asking him to teach the Zionist movement the style in which the colonialists in Rhodesia succeeded in establishing their racial society there. The Zionist reactionary elements in Palestine kept in very close cooperation with the British colonialists. And it is very strange, maybe surprising to somebody to notice, that the development in South Africa went since 1910, when the Federation of South Africa was established, went on exactly on the same steps which Israel developed its laws between 1948 and 1960. After 22 years of its establishment, Israel had proved that it is nothing except a colonialist state playing the role of a tool for the American imperialism. The myth of finishing the diaspora of the Jews in the world had failed badly because Israel up till now has only one thick 
of the Jews in the world. Mm -hmm. The progressive Jews all over the world, their numbers start increasing against the establishment of the state and against that racial community which the Zionist movement created in Israel and which, is, which goes exactly like the South African one. This is why exactly that the Palestinian resistance movement is not a movement to liberate a geographical 26,000 square kilometers. It is a historical movement which aims to liberate the Jews from Zionism and the Arabs from reactionaries and to establish the socialist democratic Palestine. The question of Palestine is the question of a contradiction, of a clashing contradiction between the national liberation movement of the Arabs headed by the Palestinian national liberation movement and between imperialism in this part of the world headed by the Zionist movement. And this is, this is how it is a mistake to understand that Israel is just a home of Jews because Israel is the base of imperialism. And we notice that oil companies in the Arab world, in the last five years, they had built factories in Israel, especially military factories. We can mention several names, everybody knew about these names, who built uh, jet engines factories inside Israel while their money is harvested from the Arab oil in the Arab Peninsula. Israel represents in this part of the world the fortress of imperialism and colonialism. 22 years ago, when the Palestinian people were forced out of their country, they have no place to go to except the refugee camps which were built in the desert. And those Palestinians, they lived the last 22 years in the most horrible conditions a human being can stand. Not only they were stateless, not only they were not represented anywhere in this world, not only they were living on very poor quota, ration quota given to them by the UNRWA, but also they were denied the, the right of being a part of a nation. They were denied even their own names. They were called sometimes Arab refugees. So the world conscience wouldn't get shocked when, they, when it is mentioned that this is what remained from the Palestinian people. Those people were denied one of the most important things in the human being life, and that is hope. The Arab governments represented nothing belongs to their hope. The Arab parties represented also nothing belongs to their hope. And the United Nations was exactly an enemy and not any hope for them. They kept living without hope till the Palestinian resistance movement in the beginning of the 60s started. The Palestinian resistance movement didn't give the Palestinians in the camp better food. It didn't give them better clothes. It didn't give, it give them cement houses, but it gave them something which attracted their loyalty. And that is the hope of a dignified life after a very hard struggle to regain the dignity and to build their society. And this is simply the secret of how the Palestinian masses living in the camp gave their loyalty to that resistance movement which only promised them a very late better life.